everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I am bringing you a Sostring Green haul today. Popped into Cheltenham and visited my local store. To say I love this shop is an understatement. It's one of those places that you go in that you can only feel happy in. That's me anyway, if I'm not really into kind of homeware or arty bits. I don't see how it can be for anybody. It's just a shop that has everything in it. So picked up the goods and I thought I'd share them with you. Now most things do have the receipt on, which does make my life a lot easier. So no particular order first thing that I picked up. I did pick up two of these and they are both in different sizes. Were well, these are really, really beautiful. I suppose, like, what would you class them as? Like a, a display vase? I'm not really too sure but they are glass. They've got a little hole on the back, so obviously you could hang them on the wall. I thought they'd be quite nice next to each other. And I think what my plan is, I don't really have any, I haven't got any here, but I was, my plan is, is to put a little bit of pampas grass sort of sticking out. I thought that they'd look really, really lovely on the wall. I just think they're really gorgeous. I've never seen anything like this. So the small one was four pounds and eight pence, and then this one was four pound forty four pence. I love Sostrian Greens random amounts on things. I just love it. But yeah, I'm just trying to think what else you could use these for, really, because obviously they've got a hanging hole. I did look at them and think, could you fill them with water and have like a live plant in there? And I don't see why you couldn't. It's completely sealed apart from the hole in the back, which is for hanging. So, yeah, I don't see why not. They are completely round, so I don't think you could actually have these freestanding because they would roll all over the place but yeah i don't see why you can put some live plants in these or even some flowers you could fill them up water and have some pretty flowers i just think these are really really gorgeous really unique they did have slightly varying ones in there and they were all completely see-through glass but then the rim here had slight bit of color but i just thought i would go for the plain see-through ones so that's the first thing i picked up and then i saw this and i thought i'd give it a go it's a scone mix and it's got dark chocolate chips 300 grams and i'm not sure how many it makes actually i don't think it says oh 10 to 12 that's quite a lot actually isn't it 10 to 12 so i thought i would give that a go they don't actually have a price on they were two pound 58 for that kit i just thought i'd make an easy scone recipe all in the bag and i think you just add water egg and oil i think Oh, what was that? Butter. Uh, what does it say, actually? No. The baking mix, one egg, cold water, and, oh, cold butter, 100 grams of cold butter. So, yeah, I thought I would give that a go. I really fancy some scones with clotted cream and jam at the moment. I don't know why. Okay, the next item I picked up, I actually saw another YouTuber, not with this product, but something similar, and I copied the idea. So I picked up a while ago from TK Maxx some really lovely black matches, and they come in a quite a nice like little screw lid jar, which are beautiful. But I wanted the black matches because I knew I was going to have some out on display. And the YouTuber I'd seen, I don't know whether it was meant for matches or not. I don't think it was, but it was a really lovely little pot. And she just stuck the matches in and it just looked stunning. And 
yeah, I thought I could do that with this. I also bought off Amazon a while ago some of the, what are they called? Striker? The thing that goes on the bottom. Is it just a striker? But anyway, the ones I bought from Amazon, um, I think they come in shapes or you can actually cut some yourself. So I was thinking about putting a striker on the bottom here. This was only £2.96. I love the irregular irregularity of it and all of these were really unique in their design so no two were exactly the same but I just thought it's a really cute little pot and I'm just gonna yeah pop some matches in there and have it on display how lush is that for £2.96p so I picked that up and I was really happy to see that actually because I had in mind what I wanted but I haven't been able to find anything. So yeah, found that and I was really chuffed. I then picked up this ladle and I do have one plastic ladle already, but what I find it is, is it, it's, it's like almost like square in shape. So when I go to scoop things out, it makes it quite a lot difficult getting it out of a circular saucepan, if that makes any sense at all. And I don't know why this really reminded me of some utensils that my mum used to have and let me know in the comments if any of you remember but this handle with these two notches that was my childhood I remember my mum having like a few different utensils that all have this wooden handle and then the notches but yeah so I picked up this ladle and this was £3.88 and I just thought this would be better than the one I've got because obviously it's really, really hard to get anything out. And the whole point in the ladle is that you're obviously picking out, I don't know, soup or bolognese or whatever. So yeah, I picked that up, which I think is lovely. Okay, now this was a bit of a purchase that I did think, oh my God, this is actually gonna cost me quite a lot. But I just feel that once I've got them, I've got them. So I've got lots of different pots that have got like flour, sugar, corn flour in, loads of different things. And they're all on display inside um, one of my cupboards. And I really wanted wooden scoops for them all. Now I did look on Timu. And if you've seen the Timu haul before this, I got it completely wrong and the scoops I ordered were minuscule, no fit for no purpose of scooping out flour or anything like that. So I picked up four of these. These were £3.28 each, but I do feel now I've got them, I've got them. So I got four scoops and what I love about these is that they come in an array of different uh, natural shades of wood. So obviously it's entirely up to you which you pick. They do have some like lighter tones, some darker tones. If I turn them around you'll probably be able to see like that one on the back is a lot lighter than the rest. But yeah, I um, I wouldn't say, I mean they're not extortionate but they're not exactly the cheapest either. But now I've got them, I've got them and yeah, I think they're going to look really, really lovely in my display pots. I can just open them up, scoop out the flour or the sugar or whatever. And yeah, they're also going to look nice because the pots are see-through. So I did pick up four of those. And then I also picked up this spoon, which I thought would be quite nice to have as like a teaspoon. I've always got like a, a little sort of pot on the side for tea bags. And yeah, I just thought that this would kind of like match to have a nice sort of set teaspoon out on the um, like, it's like a black bowl. So yeah, I just thought it'd be really, really lovely. This one was £2.38 and yeah, I don't know if these are acacia wood, but a lot, oh, it is. And a lot of the things that I've actually got out in my kitchen are acacia wood. So yeah, it's definitely gonna match. So I love that. And it's super smooth. It's not like rough. Um, it's gonna be fine for tea bags. I mean, it might get stained a little bit, but yeah, love it. Okay, I then picked up 
two of these scoops now these are small but they are bigger than the timu ones so i've got um an array of canisters in the cupboard some are smaller some are larger so obviously those scoops are going to go in the ones that i showed you a minute ago are going to go in the larger pots and then i picked up two of these now i only picked up two because i just thought i would see how they go um see what they look like in the pots before i commit to buying any more and these were £1.78 each and these are more sort of sorry that's a very noisy motorbike just gone by um yeah these are more like the traditional sort of scoop i suppose so yeah i picked up two of those at £1.78 each and obviously if they look great then i'll go back and get more for the other pots I then picked up some of these makeup sponges. Now, I normally buy mine from Primark, but I tend to find actually that the one that I use the most is the smaller of the sponges because the only place that I really use it is for my under eyes. And the ones that I've got from Primark do tend to show up a lot of the marks where these are darker in colour, so maybe not so much. These were £1.88 for a pack of two. And yeah, they're just two makeup sponges, but itty bitty ones and uh, hopefully disguise the stains. Obviously, yeah, you can wash them out, but we are going on holiday soon. And I don't know why I just like, it's almost like a treat to myself. I like new things to take on holiday. So I have in a previous video, um, shown you a few bits that I bought some like uh, reusable packaging for shampoos conditioners sorry my legs have fallen asleep um, and yeah I love those sponges I'm definitely going to take one away with me and then finally I picked up a load of their lollies now I'm sure the last time I went in these were 10p and these were 14p this time but it's coming up to Easter soon. We'll be away for Easter. And uh, my granddaughter loves, loves lollipops. So I picked these up for her really in a load of different flavours. We've got strawberry cola. I think that is blueberry, tutti frutti and watermelon and raspberry. So I picked up an array of those for her. So, um, yeah we are obviously away for easter and i just thought i would get some of the things that she really really loves because she's not really a big chocolate person um and she does love a lollipop and they are really really lovely lollipops in there actually i have bought them in the past my kids have given the seal of approval so yeah so that's everything that I picked up from Sostring Green. I think I did mention before my last video that they are online, which is amazing because I first found out about them through a, another YouTuber. And at the time, they only had a store in Manchester. And I was in Manchester for work and got to go to Sostring Green for the very first time. And then I'm so, so lucky and thankful that they opened one up in Cheltenham, which isn't too far away from me. And yeah, and now they're online, which is even better. So I will try and link the items below. So if you don't have a store near you that you can obviously have a look online. I did have some messages the last time I did a Sostring Green haul and a lot of people don't actually know about Sostring Green. And I suppose if it hadn't been for the other YouTuber, I wouldn't know about them as well. But honestly, I am just in heaven when I walk in that store. It's like my head is transported to this wonderful, calm, space and there was actually um two older ladies in there who were in front of me in the queue and the one lady said to the other lady oh gosh this is such a lovely lovely shop you know like it is everything in that shop is so aesthetically pleasing to the to the eye it's just stunning and then the other lady said, oh, yeah, and, you know, it's got the classical music playing, which just makes you feel so calm. And it's true. It really does feel like a really calm space to be in. And I think because everything is so beautiful to look at in there, when you've got the classical music playing as well, you just feel this whole 
like feeling of calmness. And I know that sounds absolutely bizarre, but if any of you've been to a Sostrian Green shop, let me know in the comments of whether you felt the same because yeah, it's just lovely. The whole experience is absolutely beautiful. And I only went actually, I don't know, maybe about a month or so ago, and there was so much new stock that they didn't have previously. And that's one thing I do like as well, as they seem to change their stock a lot. But yeah, I will try and link anything that I can below. And I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you aren't already subscribed, there is a sub button below. I am trying to throw out content like you wouldn't believe it at the moment. And yeah, I really want to put loads of effort into these videos and show you what I'm buying or what is new in store. I'm planning on doing some more try-ons with hopefully heading towards a bit of warmth the sun is shining at the moment and it's quite mild today so we are in march we have known to have no actually are we in march yeah we are and we have been known to have like over 20 degrees in march so you never know I'm sure was it last year it felt like march we'd had our summer it was one March and then we didn't really have much weather after that. And we all kind of thought that that was our summer being and gone. But yeah, so I am planning on doing lots of try-ons. I can't wait actually for the dresses to get in store because I'm definitely a dress wearer. But yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed this. I'm going to stop waffling now and let you go. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye.